impenetrable. As a wildlife biologist, this word is often used to describe landscapes, such as an in impenetrable jungle, or maybe even my study area, which is a papyrus marsh. But more often, impenetrable is used to describe defenses, such as an impenetrable security system. Well, I hope today that your minds are not impenetrable, because I'm going to talk about a controversial subject, namely trophy hunting, and I hope that you have an open mind. Trophy hunting can provide crucial conservation funds to areas that would otherwise be ignored. In fact, in rural Uganda, one successful trophy hunt can provide the equivalent of two years' salary to a landowner. You can imagine that this is a tremendous economic boon to the local community, as well as providing an incentive for conservation of wildlife and habitat. Now, I know I'm not going to change anyone's mind in the three minutes that I have to talk to you today, but I hope that you agree with me that the species behind it all, Sidatunga in this case, deserves our utmost attention. I am in the midst of a multi-year study into the ecology and density of Sidatunga in central Uganda, where trophy hunting has recently been legalized. We have very little scientific information on this species, mostly because of the impenetrable habitat that it lives in, in papyrus marshes and other wetlands of sub-Saharan Africa. As you can see from this trail camera picture, traditional wildlife survey techniques are not that effective in papyrus marshes. That means we have to think outside of the box and come out with new methods and techniques to survey this population to ensure that the population is stable enough to sustain a hunt as well as diverse enough to persist through time. In fact, the methods that we develop here can be used for other elusive wetland species such as Florida panther or even large game species right here in Alberta such as moose. Now, impenetrable could also refer to describing the advanced statistical methods and mathematical models that we use to analyze this data. But I'll save you all of that and just tell you that our preliminary data estimates prove that our methods are working. We have a density estimate of between 6 and 19 Sidatunga per square kilometer right now. But we still have a long way to go to ensure that this population can sustain a hunt and provide for its own conservation through the collection of trophy fees. When I first started this project, I was very concerned that the issues, methods, and the habitat were overwhelming and too impenetrable to overcome. But I believe now that I've pulled back those layers of papyrus to see the Sidatunga behind it all. Thank you.